Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International. I'd like to offer you some foreign exchange charts today. And the first one I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. Now here we can see a counter to the counter and by a big margin yesterday. A key reversal down that dropped down through the combination of lesser Fibonacci levels at 109.51 and 109.62. Then the short stroke medium moving average, currently 109.65. The neckline, currently 109.16 of the March based Cathedral Head and Shoulders top. And then the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 109.80 until it finally halted at the diamond uptrend, currently at 108.63. More on that one later. The market closed below all it broke through, except the 50% Fibonacci line at 108.90. Today, it's opened and dipped once more down to the diamond uptrend. Now, those of you who've had the opportunity to see my daily charts may be wondering, what is that big diamond thing you've drawn from late January through to late April that's even below the market low back in March? Well, it's exactly what it says it is on the tin. I've placed a possible diamond formation over the action from late January to date. It's a proposal so far, though it has started to be confirmed, though I'm not yet certain if it's a diamond bottom, top, or continuation pattern. It's too early for that. I've also finessed it and may do so again. The current version has a prospective uptrend running through the old gap and congestion at about 108.63. Next one I'd like to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A bearish harami yesterday as the pressure Overhead from the fairly static long moving average, currently at 126.57, and the descending short stroke medium moving average, currently at 125.92, pushed prices lower to the next light piece of support, the recent lesser Fibonacci level at 125.17. It was the first reaction against the previous week's borderline weekly key reversal up. This counters, again, the case for the whole mid March to date action being a possible bull flag. The next chart I'd like to look at is Euro against Sterling. The first bullish counter yesterday to Monday's bearish engulfing pattern. It was with a possible bullish harami, probably prompted by the intervention in the market of the short stroke medium moving average currently at, at 87.16, rising up to meet prices. It nevertheless seems not to have dented the bearish incentive. For example, we had no close over the long moving average above currently at 87.37, nor much of any follow through higher today. This sits well with the idea I've mentioned a few times now that the last four weeks may be a type of sharp double top action and that we may have an initial target X on the downside in the 86 and a half area. Not that far now. The next chart to look at is the US dollar against the Indian rupee. A counter to the counter yesterday and a strong one. A key reversal up that punched up through and closed over the recent resistance area 76.35 to 76.45 for new all time high and high close. Meanwhile, Still keep an eye on the short moving average below, which is currently at 76.01. It continues to act as a type of dynamic uptrend. Now, that's the red line below the market for those who can see my charts. The next substantial topside resistance is the projected 50 cent Fibonacci line at, at 77.39. The final chart I'd like to look at is a US dollar against the Brazilian real. A gapping higher, small bullish white soldier yesterday that finally moved up over the old projected 50 cent Fibonacci line at 522.26. They had capped the market this week. The market now has a choice. Move up further and challenge the all-time high again at 535.40 or treat yesterday as an island and open back below it and especially open or significantly move below the 522.26 level. Well, that wraps about it all up basically today. So in the meantime, good trading and stay safe in the markets and in the real world.